perspective on, on uh, how to deal with stress, you know, sometimes we may think that uh, we don't need any stress at all in our lives, but I think some stress is very important. What I'd like to discuss with you this evening is how to build a profitable business. Most people who join our business join because they want to make money. I have, Betty and I have been in this business for 25 years, and I have not met a person who joined the business with their sole aim to fail. They always want to succeed. But what does it mean to succeed? Because this is a business, the function of a business is to provide a service and make a profit. That really is a function of a business, nothing else. Of course, there are conditions that we need to fulfill. It has to be for the good of society. It has to be for the good of our families. It has to be the good of our health also. If this, a few things are, are uh, fulfilled, then the business is, is being done correctly. Uh, some people call it the common good. If the society is getting better because of the services we provide, then the business is good. But why am I talking about uh, a good society? In our kind of business, the way we earn an income is to build a business and we are paid through the compensation plan. I'm sure if you're a distributor and you've been long in the business, you know that there are different types of bonuses we get in the business. One is called the sales volume bonus, which is the income you earn before your business reaches 4,000 PV. Secondly, when you start developing other directors in your business, you start earning leadership development bonus because the company uh, recognizes that you're building other leaders in your business. And thirdly, when your business is beginning to really grow big, you become a president's team member, you start earning a network development bonus. Apart from there are also other bonuses on top called the cream that the company pays, for example, consistency in your step, or if you take a step and you consistently qualify, you get a, a step up bonus. But what I'd like to share with you is to how to the build the correct structure in your business. Just give me one moment. Um, so I want to share with you what it is to build the correct, correct structure in your business. What does building a correct structure mean? You're building the correct structure means that you're, you're paying attention. Uh, just one moment, please. I need to open my... Um, okay. All right, then the other one, just one second. I want to open for you a screen so that I can share with you. Um, that is web. All right, let's go back here. Give me one second, please. Okay, so I want to discuss with you how to build a correct structure. Building a correct structure means that you build a business that qualifies at your status month in and month out. I think sometimes when you start the business, we are not, we grow the business very, very fast. It reaches uh, one ruby, two ruby, three ruby, then it drops back. What does structure mean in our business? Structure means that you build a business that you get maximum income from the compensation plan. That means that every month you qualify at the status at which you are building the business. And I've, I've, uh, I have, I want to call this session structure for diamond because everybody who joins the business and is really serious want to get a, stra a diamond director business. Now, how do you get to become a diamond director? First, what do we really do in our business? Our business is moving products from near life to different customers. That is ourselves and our customers, moving the products to the marketplace. Secondly, how do we do it? We use three natural laws of nature. And you know, when I started this business and I had, I had these uh, laws being mentioned in the, in the training, I became very fascinated about this business. <clears throat> the first law is the law of sowing and reaping. What does that mean? If you sow, you will reap. If you don't sow, you will not reap. It's as simple as that. It's not magical. 
okay? And in our business, sowing and sowing is talking to people. Reaping is when you get the income at the end of the month. The second law we use in our business is called the principle of increasing returns. What does that mean? That if you talk to one person, the one person will probably bring five, will bring 10, will bring 100, will bring 1,000 people. That means the increasing return is we earn more than we actually put in. The third principle of our business is the principle of delayed gratification. Delayed gratification means that uh, if you plant now, you don't harvest now. You have to wait for a growing season, all right? So the work you're putting in now, you're going to get the results in three or four or five or six months time. You don't get it immediately. You need to have a growing season. That is the first thing. The other thing we need to do in our business are two. And this is very important to understand the structure. The first is called building width. What is building width? Building with are the people you sponsor in your business directly under you. That is what we mean by building with. Um, I would like to share with you some scheme I drew earlier. Just if you give me one moment. Um, so I, I think that if you want to have a stable business, think of this as a tree. Which is the most stable tree you can have? The most stable tree you can have is a tree which has got very deep roots and it also have uh, wide roots. If you have that, then you have a very, uh, very st strong and stable business. Okay, so uh, if you give me one second, I want to share with you what I had sketched earlier. Mm. Just one moment, please. Uh, okay. Okay. So let me share this screen with you to show you what I'm talking about. All right. This is what we mean by uh, building a structure. I would recommend that if you're starting the business, even if you've been old in the business, take a piece of paper and draw your structure on the wall. Building width means the people you sponsor directly. For example, in this example I've sketched here, you have, you've gone six wide. You've sponsored six people directly under you. Now, going wide is potential volume. You don't have volume yet. How do you get volume in your business? You get volume in your business when you start going deep. Going deep means that each leg, you need to bring it at least 12 deep. For example, if I sponsor John, the next thing I need to do is to help John sponsor somebody else. Then I help that person sponsor somebody else. Then I help that person sponsor somebody else. If you want a stable business, each leg should be at least 12 to 15 levels deep. Why is that important? It means that people in this leg are going to be producing volume and this is what gives your business stability. Okay, so uh, if I may share the other notes I was looking at, this ones. So building with is when you sponsor people directly. How do you do that? You, you do the four basic things, right? Uh, name list down. Invite people to see the business by asking the right questions, show the business plan and follow up to close your prospects, okay? That is how you build with the people you sponsor directly. But apart from building with, the next thing you need to do is to, sorry. The next thing you need to do is to build depth. Depth simply means that you're working at the newest place in your business. If I go back to this uh, sketch I had put earlier, this one, depth simply means you work at the lowest place in any leg because that is a place that is most exciting. For example, the person you sponsored directly under you may not be very excited about the business, but three levels deep, you find a very excited person. 
when that person starts to grow, all the people above him also see the possibility that this business actually works. And that is how you start building depth. You start building a stable organization so that you have both depth and width in your business. So building the correct structure simply means that when you start qualifying as a director, you start qualifying every month because you build depth and also you have built width. A few notes about building, building uh, width. Work on the tap root. Uh, tap root simply means the lowest place in your business in any leg. Teach each person to go wide as above. You see, for example, the fourth person, the, the person who is four levels deep, you need to teach them how to go wide. That means they need to be able to sponsor people under them. Then the next thing is, this is very important for success in network marketing. Don't do what works for you. Do what duplicates. That means that do something that is very easy for your people to do, okay? And that is important because there are some people who are very, very good at selling. There are some people who are very good at recruiting, but you see, not everybody is going to be able to do or duplicate what they do. So when you make the business simple, find out those things which are easy to duplicate, and that makes your business much more effective in terms of growth. Always keep sponsoring because when people join your business, some of them grow to directors and uh, because of our marketing plan, they start to qualify with 4,000 points. So you need to keep sponsoring people so that you have people in your nursery. Develop the right attitude of the business. How do you do this? Read constantly good books, listen to motivational tapes. You also need to aim at discipline and not motivation becomes, because motivation gets you started, it's discipline that keeps you going. I think our business is like a marathon. It's not a sprint. A sprint, if you're Usain Bolt, you're going to do it at 9.58. But a marathon, you have to learn how to consistently move forward. As long as you're talking to people every day, some people will say yes, some people will not, some people will ask you questions, but you need to keep going. Are you going to get some disappointment? Yes. I can share with you some of the challenges that you have in this business. I remember about two months ago, I was prospecting uh, somebody and uh, I showed them the business once, twice. The third time I called them, they were quite rude and they told me, look, um, I don't like your business and I'm tired of it. When you have recruited your whole village, come back to me. You see, if you are successful in business, you're going to meet those kind of people. Are they going to make you feel bad? Yes, yeah, sometimes they will make you feel bad. But remember, when you go on stage as a director, when you go on stage as a one ruby, a two ruby, you will not remember what people said on your way to becoming successful, okay? Then the other thing is you need to realize that you can also succeed. And sometimes it's very tempting to cheer for everybody, but you don't cheer for yourself. So learn to cheer for yourself. What I mean by that is you need to applaud the people who have succeed, but also you need to visualize yourself being successful and others applauding for you. So don't applaud for others all the time to get yourself off the hook. And then keep your eyes on the future and the past success because sometimes I think it's normal human beings that when you make a mistake, we tend to replay the mistake in our minds and that keeps us down that can easily take us into the wrong path. So I suggest keep your eyes on the future and past success. What does past success do for you? What it does, it helps you to know that you can actually become successful, that you can also uh, do things correctly, okay? So, um, you know, some of you who exercise a lot, you notice that when you start exercising after a while, your body feels pain and you, you get a message from your brain that your legs are tired or you're tired, you're, you're breathless. There's a tendency to, what, to want to stop and not continue. I had a quote the other day that really arrested my attention is that you will either have the emotion 
of feeling better or you'll have progress, but you can't have both. You see, sometimes you, you avoid talking to people because you do not want to hear the word no. But maybe that is what you need to hear so that you can keep going and uh, find the people who say yes to our business because that is what makes our business grow. Okay, so pay attention to the no's, pay attention to people who tell you no. They are simply telling you that this business is not for them. Don't take it personally. The last thing is have an accountability mirror. Accountability mirror just simply means that every day stand in front of the mirror and ask yourself, okay, Pascal, today I had a plan to six, speak to five people. Did I speak to five? No. Why didn't I speak to five people? What happened? Then for the five people I've spoken to, uh, did I do well? Did I make a mistake? Did I say something wrong? Did I, was I talking too much that I'm not listening to what the prospect is saying? Uh, a friend of mine told me the other day, he has been in the business for more than 20 years. And he told me, I've just learned recently how to speak less and listen more. It's an incredible uh, revelation when you realize that for you to grow this business faster, you need to speak less, ask questions, and listen more. If you do that, you will find, you know, the most important subject for, of anybody's life is themselves. So when you ask questions of people and listen to them, they will tell you about themselves. They'll give you an idea whether this business is for them. They'll give you an idea on their health situation. They'll give you an idea on their struggles. And once they expose this information to you, it becomes important for you to be able to solve the problems through our business. So have an accountability mirror. Check the things you needed to do, the things that you didn't do. Check how well you did them and check the ones that you did very well and make a plan the next day to do it better. You see, when you hold yourself accountable, you will find that things become easier because now you don't, you're not depending on somebody else to check on you you're depending on yourself to check yourself. So that is what I wanted to share with you this evening. Structure. Diamond for structure means you need to learn how to go wide. Number two, you need to learn how to go deep. Deep simply means width gives you potential volume. Depth is what actually gives you volume. And if you learn how to build depth properly, very soon you're going to fill a hole. Very soon you're going to fill KICC. You're going to fill the the Hilton Hotel in Kampala, you're going to fill, fill up all the venues where you're doing business because you have learned how to do or to build debt. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate sharing this evening with you. And I look forward to meeting some of you. And uh, we hope that some of you are actually taking your steps this month. I see one of the people who really pays attention to our training is Angeline. We are looking forward to you becoming a Ruby director. So thank you very much, everybody, and God bless. So Paul, I want to hand over back to you and uh, say good night. Thank you so much, Pascal. Absolutely, that was an amazing presentation that you have just given us. And Betty has done an equally amazing job in terms of uh, giving us uh, information about uh, how to handle stress uh, and how to be able to use the products of New Life so that we can be able to, to manage some of the issues in terms of stress. So I think tonight's presentation, it has come up very well in uh, very timely for us, uh, the distributors on the call today. So many just to urge you to be able to put down um, into practice the things that, that you have been able to learn today. Because if indeed you want to grow your business, you have to really take into consideration some of the things that uh, Pascal has been able to teach us today. So we want to say thank you so much, Pascal and Betty, for training us every Thursday in an amazing way. And just make sure a copy of this uh, presentation is available as soon as possible, because I know our leaders cannot wait to be able to listen to it over and over again. So from me, Betty and Pascal, I just want to say thank you so much for logging in. Have a wonderful night. Let's meet again tomorrow for our Swahili session. And for those who don't understand Swahili, let's meet on Monday for our, for our business opportunity presentation. From me, thank you so much. 
God bless you and good night. Thank you. Bye-bye, Pascal. Bye. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night.